I hope you're having a great week. If you're brand new here, make sure and crush the subscribe button. This way you can stay up to date with every new video we have going on. Now in today's video, I wanna talk about how you, yes, I'm talking to you, how you can have 10 clients, just 10 clients, and earn $5,000 per month. This is something I've been able to help many coaches in 2018 successfully do, and I'm gonna show you the recipe on how to do this. And this is broken in to five steps. So step one, you have to have a crystal clear offer. And here's what a crystal clear offer looks like. Number one, you have to know who you are training, who is your ideal client. And with that, you have to have something set up to where every week you have a scheduled training session. This means you can only train committed clients. And I know that's one of the objections many coaches ask me about and they say, well, Ben, you know, my clients want to train whenever they want and they can't come every week. They're too busy. I call BS on that because I'm training players that are playing travel soccer, high school soccer. Um, they're very busy too, but they can find time to have a scheduled session one time per week. And with the offer, I need to have it set up to where the value outside of our actual session is at a high level. And this means that the players that I train are all accountable. If they're not accountable, they're not gonna get better. I don't care how good my sessions are or how good your sessions are. You have to keep players accountable and that is the thing that allows them to get better when they're not with you. This way, the value of your program increases because you have accountability set up. Most trainers out there, and I'm just gonna call coaches out here, 99% of coaches don't do that. They show up to the session, they try to get paid at the session, they go out there and work with the kid for an hour, they go home, and then they might see the kid one or two weeks later, and they're wondering why that kid isn't improving, and so are the parents. And this, because, this is because there's no accountability. If you keep your clients accountable, they will come back to you month after month and the players will see better results. So with the offer that you have set up, you have to be able to drill deep into what are you providing and what is your service. If you have a crappy service, you're not gonna be able to charge $500 a month the way I'm about to show you. If you don't really care about your clients, this video isn't for you and you should probably unsubscribe from my channel. But if you have a great offer, if you really care about your clients, you really care about the results, if you go deep into that offer, that is the first step here. You have to understand exactly what you are offering and provide the best service. Whoever else is your competitors in your city, like you should be offering 10 times more value than what they're doing. And I don't care if they're a pro player and they've just got into coaching. I don't care if they've been more established than you. That doesn't matter. You have to have a better offer. And that's why I'm so serious about creating the offer. That comes first. That's step one. Step two, again, this is something I know most coaches are afraid to do. But step two is you have to price your offer based on what you feel like you're worth. And a lot of coaches out there, and you can simply do this right now, go to coachup.com. You will see every coach on there, they all charge per session or by the hour. That's telling me that's what they think they're worth. So if you think you're worth $20 an hour, you're worth $20 an hour. If you feel like you're worth $500 an hour, you're worth $500 an hour. That is going to be matched with the value of what's inside the offer. So you have to be confident with your pricing. And if you want to create a $500 a month program, your confidence has to be very high. And you have to know that your offer can match the price. And whatever your price is, that shouldn't even feel like a lot to you. That should feel like, you know what? I feel confident these clients need my program, they want my program, and they're going to invest into my program. So number two, like I said, be confident with your pricing and stick to it. Don't try to undercut your competitors. You do that, you're gonna have to work more than them to earn the same amount of money as they do. With this system, like I said, if you have 10 clients, they're all paying $500 a month, there you go. That's $5,000 a month, 60 grand a year that can be added into your business this year Right? If you drill down number one and drill down number two with the pricing, be confident. Number three, and I touched on this earlier, with the players that you train, the only way that they're going to get better is if you offer a ton of additional support outside of the session. And what I mean by that is you need to become a mentor, not a coach. There's a big difference between being a coach and a mentor. A coach can show up. There's 
millions of coaches out there now. There's millions of trainers that are trying to start their business and anyone can go coach. That's great. All right, I applaud all the new coaches that are trying to go do this, but if you become the mentor, you get more respect. Your clients are gonna respect you a thousand times more. The kid is gonna follow through and do everything that you ask them to do, and you're going to be there for the player on and off the field. This is what brings your relationship between you and the client together. And when that happens, there's no reason why your clients should ever leave your program. This means you don't have to go hunting and chasing down new clients every couple months. And I know that's a problem most coaches face is they might have 10 clients one month and then month two, there's like four or three. And then they have to go find seven or eight new clients just to get back to where they were in month one. That is not a sustainable way to run your business. You want to have loyal clients that are never gonna leave your side, okay? Now with that, if you go back, step one, step two, step three, if you follow those, that's gonna help you. Step four, okay, again, this comes down to just being very disciplined and knowing what you want to do and have a clear path, clear vision on what you want with your business. And what this is, is you have to be good over the phone with parents. Again, I see a lot of complaints out there from coaches, I see this on Instagram all the time. They'll say, well, Ben, you know, you can sell something for $500 because you've been a trainer for 10 years. Well, I'll tell you what, at the beginning, I couldn't even sell free sessions. I couldn't convince parents to come to train with me for free. That's because I sucked at talking to parents over the phone. And that's because I was unwilling to practice. I thought, well, you know what? I'm a shy guy. Parents aren't gonna wanna come train with me. You know, their kids aren't gonna wanna be part of my program. I made up all these stupid excuses. And here's what I did. I started talking to parents. I recorded every conversation. This allowed me to quickly improve my communication skills with parents. And once I figured that out, I wrote a script. And once I wrote that script, I refined that script over and over and over. This is what I give to you if you're part of our mastermind program. You can follow that script. You know the exact questions to ask. You know how to close parents in one single phone call. And with that, you just have to practice. Practicing will make perfect. But if you are unwilling to practice, you're not gonna be able to sell a $500 a month program and you won't have the confidence to do that. And lastly, again, this is just, to me, this is very basic because I've been doing this for a long time. But lastly, you just have to know exactly how many parents you need to talk to every month in order to reach your goal. And let's, let's just put some numbers down here. If you follow my rule, if you listen to my podcast, I talk about talking to three parents or people of influence in your city every day. If you did that for a month, you'll talk, and you, let's just say you were lazy, you did it Monday through Friday. If you do that, that's 15 parents or people of influence every week that you talk to. That's 60 per month. If you talk to 60 parents per month, don't you think you'd be able to sell 10 units of $500 per month uh, into your program? I feel like you could, and you could probably do that within two months. That's telling me if you talk to 120 parents, 10% of those will come into your program. I can guarantee you can do that even if you're bad at selling, but you're gonna have to practice it. So I hope this video helps you. If you wanna get to that level, I know you can do it. You just gotta put the pieces together. You gotta be willing to practice. You gotta be confident. You have to know what your offer is. You gotta be able to really go after this full force if you wanna to get to that level. And if you want my one-on-one -on -one help, I highly suggest click this button up here. That'll take you to our page where you can learn all about our mastermind program where I can personally help you grow and scale out your business. I'll see you next time, coach.